Black Forest in game one. So let's take a look. Decker. So we've got sieves uh, mirror. There's gonna be mirror sieves. So we've got Skittle over here on the wing. Um, this isn't. This is gonna be uh, separate islands, not team islands. We've got a little pause here. Looks like Skittle paused. So he's gonna be on the wing island with Hunt. Sne is going to be in the pocket this time with Japanese and Pedro who's playing this game will be on the right side he has got Vikings from the wing he is going to be opposing Sancho who has Hans on this side Wins once again is going to be in the pocket, yeah. as he was last game. He's actually got Vikings in the pocket, and that would mean Loressa is going to be Huns. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, Japanese on the wing against Skittle and his Huns. So we do have a couple islands in the middle. We've got um, three gold piles on this uh, island in between Skittle. And Loressa. Got another island kind of in the center. Some stone on there and some more wood. Another small island over here with uh, one gold pile on it. And then one more mini island over here with stone in between Sancho Pedro. So we'll see where these players are going to choose to make their docks. Start with Larissa. Scouting out his base. Looks like Sancho is going to dock back of his island. He's, of course, playing on the wing. I'll come down here and dock. South side. Snay up here in the pocket. He's gonna dock. Looks like he's gonna dock the uh, 12 o'clock. He's of course playing as the pocket. Pocket wins for KLU. He's gonna dock on Sancho's side. Start. Pedro is going to dock the front side. He's of course playing on the wing. Yeah. With Vikings. Probably going to try to get real aggressive on the water. I would imagine. And Pudel. Skittle is going to kind of dock the front side as well. So both the NC side docking on the front. Resser has docked the back. Sancho's going to dock up on the back, so both wing players for NC docking on the front, and both wing players for KOU docking on the back. So they may look to defend this. We'll see. Sancho trying to lure this with his scout. Doesn't have to lose the build time. Pretty common for islands.
Pedro's still booming here. His fish are um, pretty far. So he didn't get he didn't get the greatest dock spot, that's for sure. Let's check out the snake. Let's look at this dock over here. He did do a double dock. Not that uncommon uh, for a pocket. On islands. Skittle still got that one front dock. So he might be up already. Yep. Skittle's at 40% or so. Going up a 27 pop. He is opposing the wrestler who backed who docked the backside. Got six fishing boats already. He is going up with 29 pop. He's about 40% now. 20% up for Sancho. He's on the wing against Pedro. Got... Looks like he's also got six boats. He's adding a seventh. Sne still booming in the pocket off of his two docks. Three boats over here. Got a couple more queued up. Four boats over here. Got another one queued up. And Skittle hits first. Let's check out him. Adding his second dock on the front side. He's of course playing as Huns. Got a couple galleys going. Pedro hits, Loressa hits. Let's check out Pedro. He is of course um, got Viking on the wing. He's already got his three docks up. He does get himself house though, albeit briefly. He's going to start pumping ships. Sancho's going to drop his third dock on the back side. Check out winds. He is up. He's about halfway to feudal. Should hit around 13 minutes or so. He's got a ton of fish boats. Eight on the right side. A couple more over here on the south side. Still producing more. He's already got 10. 70%. So, first action of the game starting over here on the left side. Skittle coming forward with these two galleys. Let's see what he sees. Still doesn't know who he's up against or where he is yet. He's going to find out soon enough. Making his way over to the wrestler's docks, but he did dock the backside, giving him a lot more time. He's adding, he's got four docks now on the backside with Japan. He's, of course, against Huns. Let's check out his side. Looks like Pedro's coming forward now with his. He's got four docks as well. And he does have three ships on the other side. He's starting to work on all these fishing boats from winds. And Sancho's got a ton back here as well. Looks like they take a loss or two there. Sancho should be able to fight this off. It's flaring winds. Send some galleys over here. Like Winds is sending his fishing boats back, but they haven't dealt with Pedro's galleys yet. So Pedro's gonna come in. Probably get a few more snipes. Gets another one there. Looks like Sancho's coming back now. Another fishing boat goes down. So good job for Pedro. Another one down there. Sancho coming back finally to try to stop this. He does have Fletching uh, before Pedro was able to get it. 
flaring up here on the front side of Wind's base. Skittles got some boats over here. The rest are moving forward though. May be able to get some bill kills um, on this berries on the coast. See if you can get any. Get the first one. Looks like that's all he's gonna get. Pedro continues to try to focus down these fish boats. Slow down that boom of the pocket player. And ascending even more galleys. And Snay is tripping uh, from the middle. We did see this in an island game yesterday. Pocket is tripping. And wins his castle. He is, of course, Vikings. So the Viking pocket is castle. And I think Snay is just tripping. Nope. He tripped after he castled, so he's almost up as well. He is Japanese. More fishing boats going down from winds. You can see he's got his score has really fallen. Uh, he did castle quick, but he's lost pretty much all of his food income. He doesn't have any farms. Let's check out where he's at. And he's got his castle, but he's got no food left. He had about a dozen fish boats, and it looks like he's lost pretty much all but one of them. He does have War Galley now. Doesn't have the resources now to get so to get Bodkin though. As he's lost all his food production. The rest are still over here with some ships. Sancho over here behind his island with some ships, trying to chase away Snay. Another dock on the front side for winds. forward with these galleys. Pedro is just having to retreat. Doesn't want to take that fight against war galleys. Blame, blame him there. The rest are going to come in on these berries again, see if we can get another snipe. Gets another one. So he's got a couple of Skittles Vills from the coast. Skittles is going to come over here with his boats. Flank him from the backside as well. Skittle is castle. Uh, he already has locked in, and there's his galley upgrade, so the rest is going to have to get out of there. Let's see if he's up already. Uh, he's almost up, he's 85% or so. He's going to have to retreat. Let's check out the middle. We've got an engagement Snay with his war galleys, wins with his war galleys. Pedro and Sancho. Wins has not been able to afford Vodkin yet, though. And Sancho and the rest are both hit Castle right at the same two game players. KOU. Trying to defend this. Looks like they're outnumbered a little bit, though. So just pulling back. Skittles coming around the backside with all these war galleys. He's getting very close to um, the wrestler's food production back here. Might be able to take it out. The wrestler's defending the other entryway. But that's not where Skittles going. He's coming around the other side, so he should be able to take this out straight away. Six boats. Probably about to go down here. And down they go. She's going to have to retreat ships. Check out the fighting in the middle. Pedro hits castle. Last player to castle uh, in this one. He's got a lot of galleys though. He's got 36 warships that he can upgrade now. Wind still doesn't have Bodkin. Sancho does. 
like Skittle's gonna run away. I was able to take out all that food production though. I think um I think NC is just waiting for the upgrade, then they'll go. It does look like they have the numbers and here they go. Pedro's got his upgrade now, they're gonna try to push ahead. Wins finally does get Bodkin. So a huge engagement here. And it looks like the rest is going to send um, his boats over here to try to make this a three on two. Let's see if they can get uh, an advantage. He's a little late to the party though. His two teammates were outnumbered. Pedro pulling back his boats for some reason. Allowing Snake to fight by himself. He comes back in finally. Sancho is reinforcing with his ships. And Skittle's going to come from the backside and flank the Resser. He's got another pretty large army on the way as well. So KLU is quickly losing water here. So they're retreating back to this choke point over here. Still trying to mass up their units back here. Skill's trying to make a push over here on Marissa on its side. Snay sending all of his boats in. He's got he's got a huge score lead. Let's take a look at the pop. We got Pedro at 82. Skittle 107. The rest are down at 70. Sancho 65. Snay at 132. And looks like he's getting ready to go imp. 78 for wins. And yeah. So big pop disadvantage already. For KLU. And this is KLU's home map. It seemed like they played a little bit better on Black Forest, actually. Skittle's got the resources to go up now. And up he goes. Let's see if Snay is up. He is also up. And let's check Pedro. A little further behind. Um, playing his Vikings. Drops his university though. Probably going to try to get ballistics. Let's check out Wins in the pocket. He is still not up, so. Um, let's check the other two real quick. I don't think they're up. Presser, not really that close. And. Sancho is not close either, so um, this may end as soon as Skittle and Snay hit Imp. Uh, we've got a landing over here from Sancho. He's of course playing as Huns. He's landed Pedro, uh, who's of course playing Vikings. He's got Siege, couple Rams, pumping Cab Archers, dropping another Siege. See if he's going to be able to make a big push on Pedro. He's got a couple siege workshops of his own. He's making manganels to try to defend himself. Ram's coming in now. Skill's working on the rest of his docks in the backside. And he's going to be imp soon. But let's take a look at the land push. Here come the manganels from Pedro. This TC is going to go down now. Here, let's see if he can stop it. This is 
cav archers in, trying to get these kills. Loses a bunch of cav archers there. He's repairing that mangonel. TC goes down. And Snay imps. Bill's trying to take out these rams. Skittle imps right after him. You see a big galley army from Snay. Skittle's also huge on water. Those are about to get upgraded. Sancho's adding in knights to try to deal with those mangonels. He's got some cav archers getting up in the woodies. Takes kind of a nasty shot from that mangonel though. His knight still isn't over here. These rams are uh, pretty injured as well. Try to take that out. Some bills going down from Pedro. Big water fight here in the back. Skittle is an imp, of course. Uh, but he's fighting Winds and Laresser. Trying to focus all their units in that choke point. No landing over here. Snay's got his galleys in the middle. He's got another huge galleon army back here. No landing on him just yet. So let's keep an eye on this landing attempt from Sancho. And they're calling it. That's going to be GG. You can see the huge boom from Snay. Um, the game kind of seemed to turn when Wins lost all of those fishing ships. I think he had about 12 and he lost like 11 of them. So you can see how badly that affected his boom versus Snay. He did the same kind of big fish boat boom, but didn't lose his. So that really kind of turned the tables. Um, Snay was even tripping as well, so he helped out his wings. Had all those extra resources. He was the highest in everything. Kill loss. Wings having the worst. Minus 55. Pedro got the most kills. Snay had the big army, And you see both of them imped. Both players did fast castle. From the pocket, the double dock boom. So that's it. That was game two, guys. So let's go back.